Hi guys, welcome to episode 15 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing the Oldie Family. Uh, but before we get started, I want to talk about a neighborhood change that I made and that I wasn't able to go over in the last video when I played the Burbs because I ran out of time and I didn't want to make the video too long. So I added a, a community lot here and this is interactive and this is a place that I created for my team. Well, I didn't create it. It's actually from the bin, but I did go in and sort of remodel it and make it a little bit better, give it some improvements, but it's right around here somewhere, right here, interactive. So what fun is playing games alone in a room? Come to Interactive where technology meets fun and meet like-minded fun seekers looking to spend the day playing games from classic pinball machines to the latest consoles, Interactive has it all. So it has pinball machines, gaming computers, um, and a console and a big TV. And I just wanted something for my teen, a place for my teenage Sims to go. I'm not quite ready to add a downtown to Pleasant View yet. I wanted something in town that they could go on dates and hang out with their friends and stuff. So that's why I put in this interactive. And I'm just trying to kind of keep the little downtown area right here. I wanted to place the lot right here next to the Pleasant View Workforce Center on this street, but for some reason it wouldn't let me place it there, so I had to put it over here. So now we've added Doc Allen's Hangout, Interactive, and the Pleasant View Workforce Center, and I do plan on adding more community lots as the need for them arises. Okay, now back to the oldies. We have Coral, or Herb, I want to call him Herb, but it's Herb, and their adopted daughter, Deborah. And the last time, we didn't really play the oldies at all. I've just moved them into their home. Uh, Coral and Herb, they own this trailer over here that's right across the street from where Brandy Broke used to live before she moved in with Darren. And it's just a small little trailer, two bedroom. I've decorated it for them with the little bit of money that they had. Um, since the last video, I did go back in and add some more decorations with the rest of their money. I added some cabinets and, and just some things that I thought made it a little bit more homey because um, they did I guess recently move in but I'm just gonna pretend that they've lived here for quite a while and everybody's outside because I had to move them out here while I was decorating I went in and I gave them some closets because it drives me crazy how none of the houses had closets uh, in the beginning so I did add these these are not functional closets they are decorative closets um, the this is a I can't remember what it's called but it's under sculptures decorative closet one tile <laughs> I got this from mod the Sims and I believe it's called the uncloset so I have a one tile and a two tile version the only thing I don't love about it is see how the shelves are right here if you put one of these uh, one of these bars of clothes in there which I like to do because it looks used then it makes this weird thing on the top like it just doesn't fit right so I always put these decorative boxes on top to hide that and look like there's some storage in the closet so I did the same thing over here on this two tile and actually had to use an OMSP to put this one on there it was kind of a pain in the butt but it looks nice and it looks like you know a real house that would have closets but they can't use these they're just decorative and so I always put a um, dresser in as well so they can actually use that to get dressed and plan their outfits I haven't really found a better solution I did try to download some sliding closet doors to sort of make my own closet but those didn't work very well um, so I'm still looking for solutions if you guys what do you guys do for your closets in your home um, leave a comment below and let me know if you build your own closets what do you do because this is the best solution I found so far all right now to get to the game let's see what everybody wants to do so Herb he wants to talk to John because in the last video when we played the Burbs he and John were sort of making friends with each other he wants to be friends with Deborah his newly adopted daughter and he wants to go swimming um, Coral she just wants to hug Herb flirt with Herb tell a joke to Herb and play with Herb she's just all about Herb right now and little Deborah wants to be friends with Alexander, be friends with Dina. That's kind of odd. Um, she wants to play and she wants to invite someone over. I 
have plans for Deborah. Like I said, I don't normally like to force my Sims into relationships and things like this, but this first generation, I kind of had, I kind of have to to keep everything going along. Um, the next generation, we had six babies born in Pleasant View in season two. Um, they're not, there's obviously not going to be another baby born here. Oh my gosh, do I still have these guys posing? I totally do. I still had them posing for their picture I took earlier. So in the next generation with our six babies, they're all going to get to choose their partner, whatever they want to do with their life, who they want to be with. Um, but Deborah, she's kind of already um, planned. And my plan for her is that she is going to marry Bo Broke. Because we do not have another female child around his age in the neighborhood. That's why we adopted Deborah, that and to give the oldies something to do. So since Deborah wants to invite someone over, oh my gosh, what just happened? Something just happened between these two. It looked like, oh my gosh, she must have 20 grandchildren. That is not going to happen, Carl. <laughs> that is not going to happen. It looked like they fell out of love. Like they, she got the little heart with the cross through it. I don't know what just happened between those two, but it wasn't good. Anyway, we'll work on them in a minute. Right now, I want to focus on Deborah. Since she wants to invite someone over, we're going to invite over Bo so we can get that relationship uh, started. And they were just kissing again, so. All right, invite Bo over. Oh no, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> I forgot, it's the middle of the day. So she'll have to wait to invite him over after he gets out of school. She was adopted, I believe it was after 8 a.m. when she got here, so she didn't have to go to school today. I'm just going to uh, focus on their needs and stuff today, and as soon as Bo gets out of school, we'll invite him back over. Alright, it's 3 p.m. Coral is going to be making some lunch, and I'm going to have Deborah go ahead and call Bo and invite him back over. He should be home from school by now. And he might say no because their relationship is, oh man, he said no. Okay, so I'm going to just have her call him and talk to him on the phone and get their relationship up a little bit better. I mean, they have a four relationship, so we're just going to have them talk for a while. Herb, he wants to get a job in the slacker career, and they really could use the money since they're both unemployed. Why don't you go look in the newspaper and see if there's a job? All right, Deborah just got a negative uh, vibe there from talking to Bo, but they did they do have a little bit of a better relationship. I'm gonna keep working on that. I'm gonna have her call him right back. Maybe she won't get on his nerves. <laughs> He's gonna call him right back immediately and talk again. Because she wants to invite somebody over, so I don't feel like I'm forcing her to do something that she really doesn't want to do. She's going to get to know him enough to invite him over. Music? No. There was nothing available in the slacker career track. Alright, let's check out that relationship. 16? I still don't know if that's enough. We might have to wait until tomorrow. Um, to invite him over. All right, it's Tuesday morning. Uh, Deborah's waking up, and she's going to be getting ready for her first day of school in Pleasant View. Uh, I wanted to talk about their ages for a second. So Herb, right now, uh, yesterday he turned 84 years old. Coral is 82, and little Deborah is seven years old. After she goes off to school, when she gets home, we are going to try again to work on her relationship with Bo.
Deborah's off at school. It's 9.15 a.m. The family really needs money. They only have 132 simoleons, and Herb doesn't really get any. I don't know what happened in his previous job, and we can check his memories and see if we can figure it out. Uh, I know he used to work in the business career, but I'm not seeing any memories of what happened to his job. Um, he, he obviously is not getting a pension and we need money. I am going to have him go down to the unemployment office and get a job in the slacker career. They don't need a lot of money, but they do need to be able to pay their bills and buy food. I'm just going to have him walk to lot, community lot, and we're going to go to the, he's going to go by himself. Coral's going to stay here. We're going to go down to the Pleasant View Workforce Center. Oh, no, no, don't go. Put on your clothes. I thought he would get dressed first, but he did not. Please don't go to the workforce center in your pajamas or everybody in Pleasant View might think that you have dementia. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh, and he stinks really bad, too. We'll have him take a shower first before he goes. Coral's just going to hang out and write in her diary. Her hobby is film and literature. She really likes to watch movies and write and read. And the bills are here, 74 simoleons. That's going to take a huge chunk of their money. So he's got to get down there and get himself a job. All right, he's done taking a shower. Walk to lot, community lot, by yourself. Pleasant View Workforce Center. And here we go. Here we are. Herb is a romance sim, so he keeps rolling, wants to have two loves and ask a sim on a date. Um, so that might be something that we need to pursue for him. But right now, most importantly, he needs to take care of his family. Where is Slacker? So he's going to get a crappy little job in the Slacker career. I don't even remember what the elder uh, Slacker job is, but we're going to find out. Let's see, a golf caddy. He works 3 to 6 p.m. and makes 45 simoleons a day. Yes, he will take it. I mean, that'll be enough to pay the bills. All right, he wants to meet someone new, and he's about to fulfill that want here with Rufus Daniel. And he wants to slow dance with a sim, ask a sim on a date, and have two loves at once. Now, he doesn't have a lot of time left in his life, but I think he does have enough time to have another lady. Uh, but here is Jennifer Burb. I don't really think I want him to be flirting in front of her. Oh no, what just happened? I don't know, he got rejected for something. I didn't see what that uh, fear was. I still haven't gone in here and fixed my welfare table and turned it around yet, because I'm just, I guess I'm just too lazy to load up the lot when I'm not playing, but I'll do it someday. All right, there aren't really any ladies here for him to meet. I don't think Marissa would be interested in him or Andrea. And since Jennifer's here, there's Nina. Nina might be interested in him. I don't know. She doesn't really like older guys. We're just going to have him go ahead and go back home. Deborah is home from school, and she has terrible hygiene. We're going to work on that, and then we're going to invite Bo over. Again, they have a 16 daily relationship and 13 lifetime. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we're going to try. All right, let's invite him over. Please say yes. Oh my gosh, he said no again. So we're gonna have her just call and talk to him again. And we'll have to try again tomorrow. Herb just returned from his first day of work. He brought home 45 simoleons. Another day has passed. Herb has turned 85 years old. Coral is now 83. Little Deborah is 8. Coral has rolled a want to hold her grandchild Ivan. I'm going to take that as a sign that she is missing her family. And I 
they're not going to bring the baby over, but I am going to have her call and invite uh, Mary Sue over for dinner. I feel like their relationship could definitely be stronger. Um, they only have a 25 relationship. And I don't know if Mary Sue will even come over for dinner, but we will try. And if not, I'll, I might have her call her back and talk to her for a little bit. Oh, they're going to come. She's going to invite Mary Sue and Daniel over. Coral decided to make some spaghetti for dinner. It's a nice, easy meal, and her cooking really isn't that great at this point. Um, Daniel and Mary Sue came over. Herb tried to come out and greet them. They all have a really hard time getting in and out of this tiny little one-tile entryway in the front of the trailer, so it causes some routing issues. Uh, Deborah came out and met her sister, her older adopted sister, Mary Sue. They actually got along pretty well. I think Mary Sue uh, would be very sympathetic towards Deborah because she was also adopted by the oldies and didn't know her real parents, and she was raised in a similar environment. Um, Coral and Mary Sue spent some time talking together, and that was really nice. Um, they got to know each other, strengthened their relationship a little bit. Um, everybody just sort of hung out. They had a really nice dinner, really nice time together. All right, we got a chance card for Herb while he was at work today. It says Herb is caddying for Malcolm Landgrab, head of Landgrab Enterprises, who has just hit his second shot into the rough about 65 yards from the green. The business tycoon leans over and asks Herb whether he should use a nine iron or a wedge. Herb debates how to respond. <laughs> I don't know or whatever. <laughs> Herb, I don't know. He's going to say I don't know. He celebrates the good news by buying everyone around him drinks. He tipped Herb an extra 50 simoleons. That's awesome. That's like more than he makes in a day of work. So good for you, Herb. Deborah is now home from work, or home from school. I mean, not work. She did bring one of the Newson girls home and I had to send her away. And she desperately needs fun before we can even begin to work on any relationships. I'm going to have her go and watch cartoons because that gets the children's fun up really high. Something is wrong with this couch. They are not sitting on this couch. They can't even sit on the end of it. I'm going to have to get them a different couch. I don't know what the problem is. I'm just going to buy them a cheap I'm going to buy them that cheap couch. That way they can all sit on it. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, change to cartoons. Stop watching and watch again. I want her to sit on the couch. There we go. Okay, Deborah's fun is back up. Um, we're going to have her call and talk to Bo for a minute. Their relationship is 27 over 25. I'm gonna have them talk for a minute. Now their relationship is over 30, so I think that's gonna work. We're gonna see if he'll come over. Yes, he said yes. She wants to do her homework. She wants to play with Bo. Herb, get out here and pick up this dirty trash in your yard. Okay, Bo's here. Let's go greet him. She's in there brushing her teeth. Stop brushing your teeth. And he has to leave immediately. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what is going to happen with this. We're just going to have to keep trying. She's got to go in and eat dinner. Take a shower and do her homework. Alright, it's Thursday morning. Herb doesn't have to go to work for a few hours. He's going to make up some excuse to Coral. And he is going to go down to... Oops. He's going to walk. He's going to go down to Doc Ellen's hangout, and he's going to tell Coral he's got to do something for work. 
but he's really going, he's on the prowl for a lady because he wants to have another woman on the side. He wants to fall in love with somebody else. So we're going to let him do it. He's a romance sim, and that's what he wants to do. Uh, poor sweet Coral is just going to be left here all alone, having no idea what Herb is up to. And he doesn't have much time left in his life. He's 86 years old now. So we're going to give this one to him. We're going to let him go find somebody, uh, preferably an elder. Um, the only younger woman that I think might be interested in him is Dina, and, which there she is. But she likes rich guys, and Herb doesn't have any money. I'm not so sure that's going to work. We're just going to keep our eyes peeled for any older ladies who might show up. Of course, Jennifer Burb is here again. Hopefully, if she sees him flirting, she won't tell. Wow, there are three guys here all wearing exactly the same outfit. Do you see this? They really like this, uh, I don't know, this leather jacket. They're all wearing exactly the same thing, and these are just random, randomly generated townies. Darren Dreamer's here. And he's talking to somebody. He's back there. William Green. But there's not really anybody here. Oh. Jeez. He must have thought that was really funny. Kennedy Cox. I'll give it a little bit longer and see if anybody else shows up. I've taken Herb to Woodland Park because there are chess tables and I assume there might be some other older people here playing chess. But unfortunately, Herb is in his swimming trunks. Um, that is extremely creepy. <laughs> All he has on is a pair of shorts. Here's Jennifer Burb. She's everywhere he wants to be. Okay, so he's really creepy and I hope that he can meet somebody without totally creeping him out. Um... There's really no way to have him change that I know of. There might be a cheat or something, but I'm just going to let him be his creepy self. Here's Nina Caliente, and I don't think she would be interested in him. There's Daniel Pleasant. Uh, he wants to be friends with Daniel, so I guess he can go talk to Daniel. He can't really um, flirt with any women in front of Daniel because Daniel is part of his family, and he might gossip and tell Coral. I'll just have him talk to him for a little while. Today just might turn out to be a dud. I'm going to keep my eye out. There's Dawn. There's Marilena Hamilton. <laughs> And maybe I'm just being too picky, trying to find him an older lady, and maybe he, he would go for a younger lady. Maybe I should just let him choose. Oh, he's going to greet her. Let's scope room and see if he thinks anybody's hot. Oh my gosh, he thinks Brandy Letourneau is hot. Brandy is hot. Okay, well... Oh my gosh, he wants to ask Nina out and Brandy out. Okay, what should we do? Let's meet Brandy, at least. He also wants to talk to Nina, so I'm going to have him do that after he greets Brandy. Oh, what is your problem? Go and greet her. Alright, for some reason, he's just getting mad and not... It must be where she's standing. What is the deal? I don't understand what this little symbol means. Does it have something to do with the terrain? Okay. That's getting annoying. Yeah. 
I don't know what's going on. It must be something to do with the terrain right here. Okay, I'm done with that. Let's go talk to Nina. He wants to talk to Nina. I don't know how she's going to feel about him. He can't flirt with her because Dawn is right there and Daniel and Jennifer. But he can talk to her. She's still smitten with Dawn. He wants to flirt with her. Well, you can't really flirt with her right here. Um, let's ask her if she wants to go somewhere else. Ask, ask to join casual group for an outing. I don't know if she's going to say yes or not. Oh, no, he has negative chemistry with her, but he still has these wants to ask her on a date. Oh, no, she said no. She did not like that proposition. She's like, who are you, you creepy old man in your swim trunks and the... It's fall. It's, like, cold out here. Okay, let's have him go greet Brandy. Maybe he'll have better luck with her. Let's check her out. And it says he has negative chemistry with her. That's so bizarre. He has negative chemistry with Nina. He has negative chemistry with Brandy. But he thought Brandy was hot. And he wants to go out on a date with both of them. Oh boy, Herb. I don't know what he wants. Oh, she's going to admire him. And he didn't like it. He's not getting along with either of these women, so we're going to call this a bust. I think it's because of his creepy swim trunks. I mean, nobody likes that. <laughs> nobody likes that, Herb. I have to make sure he doesn't get in the hot tub. All right, it's Thursday afternoon. Deborah got home from school. She was really excited because she got a really good grade at school today. Um, and we're going to have her call Bo immediately, right away. It's only 3.45, and hopefully he can come over and play. She wants to play with him. Can my friend come over too? Sure. Absolutely. Hopefully he brings an actual child and not, like, some old person. I thought I had a mod to improve who they bring over, but I don't know. I don't remember. I have so many mods. It's hard to keep up with what I have anymore. Coral needs to go play the bills. Okay, here comes Bo, and who in the world did he bring? Did he bring this dude? Or is this guy just walking by? Because if he brought this guy, that is creepy. William Melton? I don't even know who that is. That's some random townie. So we're not going to greet him. Yeah, I think it's him that she that he brought over. Really weird. Okay, she got the want to play with him. They're gonna play cops and robbers. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! I just had to get a screenshot of them playing cops and robbers together. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so she's getting fun from that. I'm just going to let them play for the rest of the night and hang out and get to know each other. And we're going to let William Melton just wander around outside until he leaves. Oh my gosh, is he coming in here? No, no, you have to get out of here. What are you doing hanging out with the, like a 10-year-old boy, William Melton? Oh no, don't greet him. Ask him to leave. <laughs> you cannot hang out with the children, William. 
Alright guys, as I was editing this video, I decided to go ahead and break it up into two parts. That's not something I normally like to do. I really like to get everything into one episode, but I'm trying to keep my episodes shorter so they're easier for you to watch, and I really didn't want to cut out too much of the story. There's a lot going on with both Herb and Deborah, and the most exciting uh, things that are going to happen in their life are still to come in part two. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, uh, click the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And in the meantime, stay tuned for part two of 